Pulmonary hypertension causes blood in the lungs to clot, which can make blood pressure in the arteries in the lungs abnormally high. Some cases result from blood clots that have to travel to the lungs, blocking blood flow and producing high pressure. It's an underdiagnosed and undertreated problem that can leave people severely debilitated. But a procedure called PTE is offering hope. Joining us on today's Heart of the Matter with details is Dr. John Craig, a cardiothoracic surgeon with the Baptist Medical Group. Thanks for joining us today, Dr. Craig. Thanks, Joe. It's a pleasure to be here. What is pulmonary hypertension? Pulmonary hypertension is a condition in which patients have elevated pressures in the arteries that go to their lungs. Most of us think of the human body as having only one heart, but actually there are two. There's a right heart that pumps blood to the lungs and a left heart pumps blood to the rest of the body. In order to maximize their efficiency, it's, it's similar to a business merger in which the, uh, the right and left heart basically uh, try to reduce their overhead. So to do that, they share the same office space, so to speak. They share the, share the same electrical conduction system. And they share the same walls between some of their chambers. And so this close relationship helps each side of the heart function much more efficiently. Now with chronic pulmonary hypertension, um, the problem is the right heart is actually not near as strong a pump as the left heart. So as these pressures in the pulmonary arteries elevate, the right heart becomes strained and over time it can begin to fail. What are the causes of pulmonary hypertension? Uh, you may actually have blockages within the pulmonary arteries themselves. This is usually caused by blood clots. Now these blood clots almost never form in the pulmonary arteries. They usually develop in the veins of either the pelvis or the legs. They break loose and they travel through the bloodstream. The right heart pumps them out to the lungs. Now when they go there, they block the flow of blood to the lungs and this increases the pressures. We call this a pulmonary embolus. So when this occurs, we typically put people on blood thinners and this may help the clots break down to some degree, but typically a small amount of uh, a small amount of this clot stays behind on the lining of the arteries. Over time, this, this clot that stays behind becomes incorporated into the wall and the artery walls become extremely thick. What course does this disease usually follow and what treatments are available? With minor blockages, you get minor symptoms, but when there, multiple blockages have occurred over time, the uh, circulatory system is very limited in its capacity to increase cardiac output. So over time, symptoms become more and more severe and it takes less and less activity to produce the symptoms. The good news is for people where their pulmonary hypertension is from these blockages, we have a surgery that can remove the blockages. The surgery is called pulmonary thromboendarterectomy, or PTE. So of these 15,000 patients or so per year, only about 200 of them will actually receive the operation. So there's significant um, room for improvement in this area. What does PTE involve? Well, PTE is one of the most delicate and meticulous operations we perform in modern cardiac surgery. Uh, we start by opening the chest and placing the patient on the heart-lung machine. Once we do that, we cool the body temperature from the normal 98 degrees down to about 65 degrees. In order to perform the surgery, we, we really have to have a bloodless field. So to achieve that, we have to uh, basically stop circulation. We do that for approximately 20 minutes uh, to do each lung. So during this time, the, we drain the, all the blood out of the body, we stop circulation, and this uh, leaves the body without blood flow. So that's the importance of, of cooling the body down significantly. In order to perform, perform the surgery, we make a small incision in the pulmonary artery. There's one to each lung, so we do one lung at a time. We, we open the artery and then from the inside we make a small cut into the wall and start to unpeel the lining. Or basically, we basically unpeel the artery starting in the main pulmonary artery and we follow it out into all the branches. What are the risks and benefits of the operation? The risk of a wound infection is probably in the 1 to 2 percent range. Um, Surgical mortality, however, has come down considerably as we've begun to understand the procedure and, and make some modifications. So about 20 years ago, the risk of, of dying was probably 15 or 20 percent. 
Nowadays, it's in the 2 to 4% range, so it's very comparable to most other heart surgeries. In terms of the benefits, uh, this operation can be, can be curative. You may take somebody that has absolutely no exercise uh, tolerance at all and basically give them back a very functional and unrestricted lifestyle. Um, I had a patient earlier this spring that uh, was in her late 30s. She had three children. She could only walk about five feet. And she underwent surgery approximately five days after surgery. She was, she was literally dancing up and down the halls. She was very excited about, about having this, uh, this restricted lifted. Uh, three, or, three or four weeks afterwards, she came back and saw me in the office. At that point, she was walking to the store and back with no symptoms at all. So it's very rewarding to see these people who are completely crippled uh, go back to leaving, uh, uh, leading a full and unrestricted life. Dr. John Craig, thank you for joining us today on Smart Medicine. Thank you.